Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon and Rising Tauruses. This is the month of June. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes and shares. Please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time. And please support us by thumbs up, likes and shares. This is going to be a wonderful month because it's the Energy Vibration of Fire. And we have the it is the month of the chariot. The month of the chariot comes in because the energy of this month is going to be a vital role. It's as if the changing of the guards is coming in. This is going to be wonderful situation, wonderful aspects coming in. And um, there's a lot of good energies that are going to come at the end of the month for you. Um, guys the angels you can work with is Archangel Metatron Archangel Metatron is the angel of uh, um, awakening and connecting with earth sign people but also working with people who are on their spiritual part the chakra we're going to work on is the 12 chakra which is above our heads it is going to be a wonderful vibrational energies for this month it's going to be a time when a lot of changes is, are, are going to happen a lot of wonderful changes are going to happen and your focus is going to be the water energy and it's going to be judgment so your focus is going to be judgment there's a lot of information that is going to come out in the month of june for you Taurus is information that you need information that will carry you and elevate you to a higher energy vibration in your life but yet still change the, the situation and the space of where you are and of who you are as a two beam on this planet so this is a wonderful time to connect to a lot of people and understand where you are and understand the journeys where you are so that you can connect with certain aspect of yourself but yet still be aware of what is going on so judgment is going to be information coming out information coming through for you guys and it's going to be a wonderful time um, um, there's going to be a lot of changes of the card. There's going to be information coming out and that sort of a thing. In the first week, what do we have? Oh, we have the energy vibration in the first week of the Eye Princess, I think. Yeah, the Eye Princess, which is a water energy. The energy of the first week is the energy of an earth sign. And this um, energy of the Eye Princess is here. And she is coming out to help you with a situation. Um, the, 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 the block, there is a block with your spirituality. And the eye princess is going to come out. Your intuition. Some people will feel a block to their intuition. That they're not capable and not able to communicate certain aspects of themselves. So whatever is happening, there's a block towards you connecting with the spirit world and connecting with also people information is not going to be that readily coming out for you um tauruses in the first week and especially this is going to uh, affect the women so there's negative energy these sort of uh, energies um, always come whenever there is going to be a cleansing um these negative energies always come so in this week this week a lot of women are going to feel out of balance and the men who vibrate with a very high energy vibration is going to feel out of balance and there is a blockage to 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 your spirituality to um where you are there's there's something that is being blocked at this moment whenever we feel this sort of a thing um, please go back listen to the general readings because there will be information given out because the energy that are here and the blocking that are here it needs to be cleared up so you have two and six is eight and what is good is that the infinity of abundance see the number eight will be your number for the first week this month of June we have five weeks we have to go through all these five weeks we have to assemble certain aspect we have to accept what is coming in there are five um, weeks so we have four of uh, the elements where the, the weeks you begin the month in the zodiac energy of uh, um, the air and you're going to end them um, the month with the zodiac energy of uh, water okay so be aware of this 
as we look at the second week um, what we have in the second week is that we have the nine of sword um, there is a cleansing coming in the second week and then the nine of sword bring you um, worries 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 and um, it could be the end of some people um, um, work connection with organization situation groups of people um, because it's the breaking of contract and um, um, it's, it's, it's not really a breaking of contract is that something that was not uh, um, honest and, and and wasn't vibrating at ING vibration a cleansing is going to come in and whenever a cleansing comes in and things break away we start worrying about what is going to be the next move and that is with an organization that you are associated with this second week is a week of a fire but it's a week of cleansing and this cleansing need to be done so that you can um, move out of this energy vibration to something of a high energy vibration that is going to help you this cleansing definitely has to be done because the changing of the guards are coming in so in the second week the energy of the fire and uh, um, some people will be worrying um, especially the business people people who are leaving their jobs that sort of a thing um, will be um, seeing this sort of an energy happening and it can be people also um, or um, have accept to divorce and separation and so separation of all different forms which is going to affect uh, um, people in different ways is going to happen in the second week the number for this is going to be um, nine seven and nine um, that is 16 1 and 6 is 7 so change in movement so a lot of people are going to end certain things because this this cleansing that is coming in is going to end because you have uh, um, 7 and 9 16 and 1 7 um, that is happening 7 is uh, movement uh, movement uh, some people will have a uh, victory and success uh, but with a sadness with worries behind it be aware of this as we move on and we look at the third week so your focus your number um, in the second week is going to be 16 and 7 some people are going to have the energy vibration of the tower effect in the second week and some people are going to have the effect of moving on being of the good part and being victorious and successful over certain aspect in their lives as we look and the middle week um, there we have um, the ten of cups and the ten of cups in the middle week uh, um, is, 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 is wonderful because uh, if you had a, a situation a situation where you had at conflicts and that sort of a thing with family member it's going to come to an end okay so if you had conflicts with certain people in your life family member that sort of a thing it's going to come to an end but be aware of this woman there's a lot of jealousy there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of bad-mindedness and a lot of jealousy is here so be aware of whatever is going on because jealousy is playing a part of uh, your family life uh, whatsoever is happening you will um, some of you will win a legal case if you had a situation a legal case that was happening um, divorce or that sort of a thing or family thing what you were trying to fight for your kids and that sort of a thing is going to happen but there's going to be a lot of it's going to happen but it's there's going to be left a lot of bitterness in some people mouth and they're going to be very jealous um, the energy of the snake of jealousy is out so be aware of what is happening be absolutely aware of what is happening okay as we look forward what is going to be that is 7 and 10 is 17 so another hate is coming up so the first week have you have the number 8 and the third week you have the energy of the number 8 as we look forward and we have another eight so there's a lot of eight a lot of financial abundance a lot of um, energy fun um, um, money is coming in in the fourth week we have the energy of the eight of swords in reverse and this isn't 
this is wonderful whenever it's in reverse because what it's saying is that you are having clarity to certain things that was happening in your life with this clarity it brings you a good energy vibration this clarity the Sun comes out over you and healing certain things and certain situations so this is a wonderful energy to have and especially when the eight of swords enters in reverse the Sun comes out to bring you certain clarity certain things that you weren't seeing certain things that you weren't aware of okay what I'm loving for in the fourth week is that um, you're working with your inner wisdom and the consciousness around you. You are seeing things much clearer, and the sun is bringing positive energy in in the first in the fourth week. So the number in the fourth week is um, four and eight is twelve, so it's number three. Number three is always the energy of the empress, the energy of your financial situation. Or whatever is happening around you in your financial world um, for you to uh, align with a certain aspect is going to be wonderful okay there's a good good connection this is going to affect all you Tauruses as we look forward and we look at the last and final week the fifth week we have the energy vibration of the two of cups so this is a wonderful energy the two of cups and the energy of the two of cups is always a um, um, connection with other people whether in business love or um, friendship so this two of cups energy is bringing wonderful new um, connection um, in your life and this connection is going to be based off uh, true love it's going to be based off uh, um, 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 a cosmic uh, connection soulmates twin flame that sort of energy but it's mostly of a soulmate type of energy and this soulmate type of energy is going to bring you new um, things in your life new possibility um, new um, aspect of who you are is coming in and this is going to work with you so despite in the middle of um, in the middle of uh, the, the month you have a little jealousy in the third week and it, it has to do with uh, people are being jealous of what you have accomplished and that sort of a thing and and with the family situation um, uh, be aware of this because what is happening is that you are going to realize that a lot of people are here supporting you uh, a lot of women a lot of women are going to find love in the um, fifth week a lot of women are going to find love in the fifth week a lot of women are going to realize that they connect with someone uh, um, from a cosmic or an intergalactic um, sort of a way where you feel your soul connected to someone is this your true love no um for some people no but it is a cosmic relationship this is no twin flame relationship it is just a soulmate relationship so for the women who are looking for love it's going to be a positive endeavor and this is going to happen for you guys so you know this is good because um, whatever is happening is that the universe is bringing you information it is a month of uh, um, a lot of changes a lot of situation um, that's happening the number for you guys um, in the five week is going to be number 11 uh, 11 and to 12 11 um, 13 1 and 4 it's going to be an achievement and accomplishment in the five weeks so some people are going to have the energy vibration of justice the balance of justice a portal will be opening for some people where you can connect with as another soul um, counterpart or another soulmate okay so this is going to be the fifth week is going to be a wonderful week the first week is a so of a week where um, the blocks you're going to realize that there are certain blocks cleansing come in in the second week the third week all the earth like unbalanced thing is happening where justice comes in in the fourth week uh, you are seeing clarity to certain things in your life uh, and in the fourth week the woman comes in with the energy vibration of uh, um, connecting so 
um, for you Tauruses and for the male counterpart there will be someone coming in from a soulmate because the wheel of fortune is bringing that person to connect with you so it's going to be wonderful is there love in this in this month the last week is when the energy of love comes in for the first part of the month the first week until the fourth week it's all about removing certain things that doesn't coincide with your existence anymore which is good as usual i'm always changing up the um, energy of my reading and now i'm bringing in every month um, a reading for the, um, the 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 sun and moon rising tauruses so um, we're going to begin with the sun uh, the sun rising tauruses okay what is going to affect you sunrise in um, Taurus is, is that the energy vibration of uh, whatever negative energy that was there um, with relationship is going to be um, the, the changing of the guards which um, you are going to find out information in the first and third week and you're going to see a sort of an energy that is working against you okay um, what sort of a zodiac uh, energies that will be affecting your life is the Aries okay the Aries is going to affect you Taurus's life um, the Sun the Sun rising Taurus is the Aries people the aspect of the Aries people are going to affect you and you're going to find out about contracts being ended things were moving out of your life a little bit fair is going to come in and that sort of a thing and um, they are the one who is going to affect you the astrological energy is Uranus that is coming in um, to, to, to to work with the Aquarius this whatever situation that you have uh, with the energy vibration of the Aries, uh, the Aquarians, the Uranus is coming in to help you. So, whatsoever the vibrational energies uh, um, of Uranus uh, that is happening with the Aries people, it's going to affect you and yet still change certain aspects and certain energy vibration of who you are. And this is this is good. Because Uranus is the planet so where um, that brings in um, changes in, in in people lives, and um, whenever these planets planetary system comes up for you, um, Sun rising, um, Taurus is uh, it's 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 you know Uranus is the god god of Uranus. It is the rules. Uh, then he, he rules the night skies. It is the astrological alignment of the celestial beams. Okay. So whenever he comes in, Uranus is uh, the bestower of uh, genuinity as well as um, um, organizing certain aspects and certain things in your life, uh, the norms and sociality of organization and that sort of a thing. So, you know, by being aware of um, what the effect that Uranus has on us uh, and Uranus is here with Mars because uh, um, that energy is going to affect the moon aspect it's going to be a time when you need to connect with certain aspect of yourself and communicate that and feel that uh, through um, your energy vibration and by doing that you accept the energy of life itself okay as we look at um, the moon rising um, Tauruses the moon rising Tauruses have um, the effect of um, Sagittarius working with Mars the Sagittarians people working with the energy of Mars so whatsoever is happening for you guys the moon rising people with Sagittarius coming in Sagittarius is has you want to break out things you want to be arrogant and with the Mars energy it is such um, where you realize how certain aspect is affecting you and how certain things are you know 
affecting your life and with the energy of Sagittarius and the Mars energy together this is playing a huge significant role in your life so be aware of how you go about and it's you know take 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 it easy take it slow do not push anything in this month um, see this month as the energy vibration of you connecting but yet still you are um, looking at things you're not making any decisions because you are just taking things as they come I'm work, working with a vortex and uh, um, I'm calling up an angels and guides um, who would like to bring out the message from the vortex I am loving the vortex and it says I will not ask others to become different for me this is wonderful because a lot of people ask people to change their vibration so they can compatible to them and it says I will not ask others to become dif different for me you know let your vibrational relationship and close and um, post it and give it your um, divided attention so that you become a vibrational um, match to it and then when the law of attraction brings all of that aspect together there are not any bugs to work out do not ask the person who helps you to defy who they are and what they are, but yet still to favor the consequences of others. Instead, use your willpower to focus upon what you want, and then the universe will bring you what you want and this is good this is extremely good because sometimes we meet people and we want to change your energy vibration so that it fit ours that means that it's not the right person it's not the right match you need to find someone who you connect with right away and there's nothing that you will change on them okay and this is good it says I am not asking others to um, become different for me we cannot ask people to become um, something that they are not because it won't work out okay and here I am leaving you with this last message and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here please enjoy the month of June please like share these videos please remember to listen to the general reading because it's so important to listen to the general readings thumbs up like share these videos if you'd like to connect with me connect with me via um, the website or via um, clarity I want to say namaste until next month